So apparently I missed a shovel, but it evidently isn't this one. You know what? This is a cart and it is in the cemetery. If I need this shovel, then maybe I can only start frobbing it later on because I can't frob it now. Yeah. Well, I'll keep it in mind, but as for now, there's one more place I can think of in my tiny little mind, and that is here again. Aha. A thing has appeared. How odd. I do not know who you are, but I can feel your presence. I know that you took the book. You should not have done that. But enough of that for now. I have not introduced myself. My name is Irrelevant. Hi, Irrelevant. But you should know that I used to have great powers. I lost them when I began to study the Book of Dead. Now there's an evil being present here. Well, that's your fault for studying the knockoff Book of Dead instead of the official Book of the Dead. If you help me to regain my powers, I will help you get back to the village. If you want to help me, then find out what kind of glyphs the evil being uses. Write it down and bring it to me. Try to find my crystal ball. That should help you. I have been here many years. I have forgotten a lot of things. I hope you help me. Well, it didn't open a door. Oh, wait, what? I'm supposed to put something down on there, possibly. Well, okay, well, what do we have here? It seems you have no choice. Indeed not. Well, I do have a gem, though, and still I can't do anything with it. Hmm. Well, I doubt a shovel would do anything there, but there's an orb or a crystal ball around here somewhere. Watch me forget what was in that text immediately. So apparently, this is an object. <laughs> Every everything that's normally junk is not junk here. You kind of got to think differently. Yeah, that bear just kind of creeps me out with his big old snout. Well, this doll seems kind of friendly now. I mean, she's just kind of standing there guarding the door for me. Don't know what the hell this gem is meant to do, but uh, that freaking room. That's some sort of a scepter looking thing with a spike ball on the end or otherwise known as a mace. Is that horse chicken? It's quite the thrilling walk, don't you know? I just thought maybe I could get higher on top of that thing. I don't know why I'd want to do that, but, you know. Knowledge! I don't know why I said that. Uh, I just panicked and I didn't want to say the name of a country. Okay, find out what kind of glyphs the evil being uses. Write it down. So my feather pen will allow me to write it down, I guess. Not sure if I have to find, like, a blank piece of paper or anything, though. No! Oh, crap. I mean, oh, shit! The... Cradle door is open down to the cellar. Oh boy. The horror section. And more of this water that's barely visible, but this one's slightly more visible, I guess, because it's kind of positioned correctly. Wow, this is the cradle basement. Lots of inspiration from other places. And here we are again. I'm my commentary is going to be not because I'm gonna be like, oh, oh, I'm scared and I'm not cutting, no stuff. Man, there sure is a lot more to do here. Uh, when I said the mission may be losing its focus before, I didn't actually mean that. Whoa. You turn your head towards me or what? Uh, what I meant was it's, oh, hey. <laughs> what I meant was it's, you know, different than, it, it, you know, it was a city and now it's a house, but it's not actually losing its focus. It's just two different things, and for some reason it's working extremely perfectly well. So, yeah, that guy's dead, and there's just no saving him from himself. Okay, well, this dungeon is quite generous, as it has provided me with loot. And there's gonna be some jump scares, I just know it. Look at this. Can't see around the corners, that means jump scares supreme. Jeez. Oh, wait. Those are stairs upwards? No. Those are different stairs, surely. Oh, this is leading to outside. Well, that's also a friendly place. Well, I'm just swimming in the friendship here. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> it is Locker Man, the long-lost cousin of Oven Man and also Luis Serra. Ah, uh, you're not scaring me anymore. That is very, very gruesome, but I got a talisman piece. Wow, it looks like a sword blade. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, you got me there. Whoa, Jesus, are you real? Oh, oh, they made it so I can't swing my sword in the water. <laughs> oh. Whoa, and you can't relock that door either. 
This is not good. This guy's gonna chase me around forever. Oh, jeez. Um, I wonder if there's any way for me to have avoided that guy. Could be if I just wait, he'll kind of go back to where he came from. But then, of course, I'm gonna end up making no. Boys. Oh, jeez. He just stopped there. What weapons have I got to fight such a thing? Could have killed him before I alerted him with that. I've got two fire arrows. That'll do, pig. <laughs> That'll do. Okay. Well, I believe this may have been something. Really? What is... You know, I recognize this symbol. I... I can't remember where, though. That also kind of looks biohazardy, or possibly just like shampoo. I guess I put the talisman pieces here or something. Man, scrolling through the inventory. It's a chore. Oh, what? It's a crystal ball and it's a security camera. Oh, there's the there's the stuff. I'm going to write this down. Unless I need paper. I guess I do need paper because... Well, maybe I'll find some of me. Oh. Hey, it's a dead guy smoking a pipe or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, because basements contain paper. That's kind of just what they do. Well, everybody's just kind of dead around here. So maybe there'll be some dead trees as well. Logic, right? Okay, uh, where where have not I been? Is that a ladder? No, it's just a pipe that looks weird. You know what? This is one mission where I wouldn't mind some flares. Do I have... No, I, I don't ever do. I, you know, <laughs> normally I'm like, oh, pff, they're useless. But when designed for them, maybe you can hide in here from the zombie, except not at all because he'd come in. Oh, okay, so loot. Oh yeah, and you can turn on light switches. That's as good as a flare. Oh, uh, live wires, no metal tools. Really? <sighs> in the water, so I can't do anything with it. <laughs> hey, Garrett, don't be a wimp. Nah. Eh. Very unusual. I've only got four of these, and I picked them up in town in that puddle, if you recall. Well, dude said he didn't realize he needed the shovel until forever late. So, uh, maybe at some point I could go back and see if I can take it again. <laughs> what the hell is that, anyway? Now, what did that actually do? Another switch that doesn't do anything. Yeah. Guy, you're in the way. This. There's, there's the runes. But... Like, in-game-wise, I can't seem to jot them down. Right-click just takes me out of it. Any click takes me out of it. Hmm. Well, that talisman must have done something. How's it going, my old friend? Still locked. And that. Do I have anything? I'm... I'm probably supposed to write the runes down on some piece of paper and then put the paper down here. Is kind of what makes sense to me. Well, you know what this means? Turn some actual lights on. Ah, and now I can take it. Blank pergament. Guess he means parchment, but hey, purgatory's as good as paper. Yeah, those things were clearly not frappable before. All right, Mr. Smort yourself to death. Let's... It's automatic. That should do it. Alrighty then, let's... Oh, I don't even get to look at it. Well, now something's gonna jump out at me. I keep expecting that. And at least 37% of the time, I am correct. Just saying, I want to leave lights off in case something else does jump out at me. You know what I'm saying. That would be very bad. Well... Well, alright. Taking it slow and low, eh? Okay then. But, oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Thanks, my friend. Very good. There are a few more things you have to do. To make the demon weaker and transform to a physical creature, you have to make a talisman called Talisman of Life and drive it through the demon's human form. Search the graveyard, then drop the evil book on him. <laughs> Look for the name Gruffid. 
The talisman could do both good and evil things, so I separated it in four pieces. Legend of Zelda up in here. As mentioned, I have been trapped here for many years, so I have forgotten where I've put the pieces. There is a device somewhere. Use it to assemble it. No punctuation. When all is done, find my scepter and bring it to me. But do not try to touch it before the demon is weakened. When I have it, I will be able... That problem again. When you have done the things in the graveyard, the demon and his servants will come to this place. They are hard to defeat. A tip is to leave them alone and let me handle them when I come out. But beware already now. It's very close. Try to stay in the shadows. I hope we will see each other soon. Alright, well, now I gotta go search the graveyard. Uh-oh. No, no. What the hell was that? Somebody was banging at a door, and I don't clack it. Um. Really, I... Oh. Oh, it's the evil room. Okay, do I go... Do I go here first, or do I go to the graveyard first? Everybody seems to be pretty well-preserved and stone-looking. <laughs> Nothing bad ever happens in a bathroom. But all right, we all know why I'm here. <sighs> oh, of course, I can't read or remember what I read anyway. It's not very hard, even to an ignorant like me. It's quite freaking easy. La da 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 do. I will be able to get out of here and defeat the creature. I need to help my wife and the servants if I can. Maybe they're gone forever. He can do all kinds of evil things with people. Well, then fix the punctuation because that's an original author intent or something. Anyways, I'm bitching about something I get for free. You know, people write correct readables 99% of the time. So again, I'm just complaining about stuff. But yeah, it's that once or twice that stands out. Weird human psychology where you just. People will notice when you make the one mistake out of a thousand and crucify you for it. And I guess I will do that too. But yeah, this is a great mission. There's just a few technical errors. Really odd. You know, the the a few of those sound files, I think it was three ultimately that were 24-bit when they should have been 16-bit. Therefore the engine couldn't play them. And uh it made like sound. That's another really obvious thing I just don't get. So maybe I can throw up the shovel now, huh? Ah, yes. And then look for the day of the Gruffin. Uh, that's... Oh, that's Oran, I think. Gruffin. Where is Gruffin? Is it here? Oh, Gruffin. Ooh. <laughs> hey, it's a broken triad mummy zone. What am I supposed to do with this guy a freaking again? Ah, drop the book on the gruffed man in question. Gotcha. Well, that's near enough. Now what? Oh, uh, so I'm supposed to just drop it on the guy? Except I guess I need the talisman first. Hmm. Just gonna leave it there then. Man, I only found one talisman piece. I mean, what are there, like four? Four. Um, yeah. Forgot where we put them. Well, one was in the house. Are they all in the house? It's hunt the skinny little gray things in a gray foggy world that's super dark. Not sure how I feel about that. Actually, I am pretty sure how I feel about that. I don't quite like it, but... Oh, well. Those instructions were a little unclear as to the order I should do things in, though, yeah. Oh, the whispers! They're maddening! You'd almost think that diamond is just a mistake or something, like it wasn't meant to be foul or something. It doesn't seem to be tied to an objective, nor can I do anything. Oh, bugger. Well, it's time to be exposed. He's gonna rip those thiefy clothes off and reveal his muscular form and go, Don't mind me, ladies, just passing through. Swoonsville! Well, at least I'm kind of trapped around here, so I know that the pieces are not way out there in town or anything, so at least there's that. Well, I only found one, so either I'm bloody incompetent, 
or there's some sort of fluorescent-y looking light tube up there. The first piece I got was in some heavily scripted area that scared me. Are all the pieces gonna be a heavily scripted area that scares me? I don't know. Pretty sure none are on this floor then. That's just weird though. Like, how could there be enough places I haven't been that there's all these extra pieces? There's a guy's head or a basketball or some crumpled up wad of spittle in the trash can there, but alas, it doesn't seem to do anything at all again. Wonder if this lock is a secret or if it's gonna be required. Probably gonna be required given how puzzly this has been so far. Oh, I'm a bear. Ah, well now, here's something. Yeah, it's probably gonna be one in here. There must be. Then we'll be on our way. No, but it's a key. And I bet I know what that does. Is there any lights in here? Yes. Oh. That was helpful. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Um. Come on, Garrett. There we go. Oh, did that. Hmm. I guess I just gotta do things in the correct order. All right, exposing myself incredibly here while I open this thing, that's... Oh yeah, of course, it would be this kind of key. What did that do? Just listening for the footsteps of some evil being, and now I want to turn the dang lights off again, because seriously, perhaps a secret panel in this room? Perhaps it made the trash can exist? No, 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 and apparently not. Wait a minute, I've got a hunch. Nope. So they want to make you search in the dark in this room, eh? Fine. Wait a minute. Is this woodable? No. Oh, if only I'd brought a couple of crates all the way freaking back from town. This is probably nothing, but no, it looks like something could be up there. Weird. Don't think there's any pickable crates on this side of the void. I don't think. This rubble is really annoying. You're on it and then you can't get off it. And what the hell did that key do? God damn. Obscure. Well, it often goes with the puzzly territory, but still. What the bloody hell did this lock unlock? Pointless. That did unlock that. Oh. <laughs> well, there's one other at least. Well, good. We're getting slightly somewhere. So they all look different, too, then. Bet one's in the attic of the bathroom there because. Where else would it be, literally? Oh, I don't stand on it. <sighs> Maybe I just gotta put them in the little receptacle one by one, and that's how you open up the next piece. You just know a guy's gonna bust out of there, except this mission has managed to surprise me all the time still, so maybe that's not gonna be the case. I'm waiting. Someone's walking upstairs. Are there really four pieces? Because it looks pretty complete with just two. I don't know why I can still frob this. Wait a minute. No. Okay, somebody's walking upstairs. Well, fortunately, I've turned the lights off. At least I thought I did, but I didn't. So, uh... Get ready to have my wits leave me. I think I hear some footsteps up there still. Very faint, but they're there. Oh, outside. Okay, well... Haunt-like entities, I can deal with you. Come on, what do you look like? Let's see your face. Oh! It's one of those freaking get Change their route as soon as you open the dang door. Go away! 
Jeez. Okay, that is that the demon? Because I only put I only put talisman. Is this one of those high health guys? No. He's just like a regular grunt. Jeez. Oh. Uh, I guess the doll is not so happy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to say. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, perhaps that is meaning that I should kind of get my ass out here and look for the third piece. Yeah, what the hell is this? This is interesting. It's got to be something, right? I mean, that's such a weird hallway with, like, no detail at all. There's got to be something in that bag. So on this save, I dropped the book onto the grave, although it clearly didn't do nothing. Wait a second. Ah, doesn't even go in. Why bother? In a mission with nowhere to ever go, why make such a blatant thing? Oh, but I didn't break anything by killing that guy. I guess she got smashed by that guy? Weird. Well, his whispering's really starting to get on my nerves now. I'm stumped. Yeah, man, I don't. Yeah, man, I don't know what to do. Two more pieces left, and I don't know where they are. Hate to do this, but I'll have to end it here. Next video is probably gonna be two minutes, but so be it. See you guys next time. Bye for now.